question, what is the greatest platformer ever made, is very divisive in the video game industry. For some people, it may be Mario, and there's never a wrong answer, but there is a right. Welcome to the brilliance of Ori in the Blind Forest. Straight from the start of the game, you're given a melancholic vibe. Everything seems dark, foreboding, as if it doesn't want you to actually be playing. Despite this, it sort of carries you in. It intrigues you with this strange curiosity that I've never really experienced before in a 2.5D platformer. The defenseless nature of your character when you first start the game really makes you want to carry on, progress through, and just try and figure out what's next in this little guy's world. At the beginning, the only hope you're given is this short cutscene. As soon as this cutscene's over, you know that the game's going somewhere great. I wouldn't be doing this game justice if I didn't talk about the soundtrack. Produced by Gareth Coker and really encapsulates everything about what makes this game fantastic. The soundtrack really just elevates the experience, making the gameplay stand out even more than it already does. Traversing the intricate areas of this lush land, with all the music playing in the background, it makes everything seem way more exciting, melancholic, or just downright peaceful and relaxing. At times, Ori can feel like a downright struggling experience with all the intense music in the background flaring with your emotions, but sometimes the game just needs to take a break from that, to let you visit the sites, see what's great about this game, view the amazing graphics and take in the world as you should be doing. As you progress through Ori, all of the abilities that you discover and uncover, they become second nature. They sort of just feel like they're implemented into the game right from the start, and as if you never had to grind to even get them. The more abilities I found, the more fluid the movement felt. Everything about the game just felt perfect as I unlocked every new ability, finding new ways to play the game and to explore new areas of the map that I didn't even know existed. Whether the ability would be a wall jump, a double jump, a stomp, it doesn't matter. Every spirit tree gave me something else that made this game even more brilliant as time went on. I think the story of this game is what's going to get people the most. It's surprisingly emotional and has a lot of twists and turns in its story that really make it quite sad in a way. And the ever-changing environments in this unique art style complement the tone of the tale perfectly. 
Each area has a story hidden amongst it. The mood of each area feels vastly different from the last, with the colours and orchestral music telling its own individual story for the time you spend in any given setting. I've played through this game four times in the last five months, and every playthrough felt like my first. Ori just has the ability to make everything already known about the game something completely new to you, challenging me every time I play. The freedom you get from the map never feels overwhelming at all. The game encourages you to take the paths you'd usually ignore in most other games, to then realise that that path was the destination all along. <laughs>